Hello and welcome to this session on Robot Framework Beginner Tutorial. In this session we are going to learn what is setup and teardown and how do we use them in our test cases. So let us begin and we will go very basic step by step and before we go into the ride IDE and create setup and teardown, let us see what exactly is setup. So setup is a keyword which is executed before running any lower level component or keyword. What do we mean by this is, for example, if you have created a setup at a test suite level, then that particular keyword that you have given in the setup of test suite will get executed before running any of the child test suites or any of the test cases in that particular test suite. And similarly, when we talk about tear down, it is the same thing. It is a keyword, whatever you will give the keyword will get executed after running any lower level components or keywords. So in case you have given a tear down at a test suite level, so this particular tear down keyword that you have given will get executed after it has run all the child test suites or the test cases within that test suite. So now let us go to step one and we will open our ride IDE. So let me go to command prompt and say ride.py. It opens our ride IDE and this is the project and test that we have been creating in our earlier sessions. So uh, step two is uh, let us create test suite setup and tier down and run it. So we will create a setup and tear down at test suite level first. So I'm going to test suite and I can go to the settings here and you can see suite setup and suite tear down is here. So what I'm going to do is I will click on this edit button in the suite setup and it will give me this window for suite setup and here I can give any of the keywords. So here you can give any of the library keywords that libraries you have imported or any of the built-in keywords and you can also give any of the user defined or user keywords. So for example, I am starting with a library keyword log to console and you can press control spacebar on your keyboard to get this option and I can use a pipe symbol and give the argument. So I want to log a message test suite started. So you can see this is the syntax. You can use the keyword and then you can give the argument separated by pipe symbol and I say OK. And similarly I will also create a suite tear down. I will click on this edit button and now I will say again I will log something to console and I will say test suite completed and I say OK. So I have created this suite setup and suite tear down and if I save and run any of the test cases. So for example, let me run our last created test case which is test 3. So I have given a tag test 3 here and I have given the same tag in the run section. So I have given only run test with these tags test 3 and let me just run it. So it opens a Chrome browser and then goes to orange HRM website, logs in and comes out. Okay, so the test is done and we have got the logs as well. And let us see. So you can see it has logged in before starting the test. It logged in test suite started and then after running the test, it logged in test suite completed. So you can see this is how it gets used in the test the uh, setup and tear down at test suite level. Now we can also create at test level. So for example, this is my test case. I go to the edit section and go to settings. Here you can see we have setup and tear down at the test case level as well. So for example, I go to edit and now here I have got the setup window. Again, I log to console and I say test case 
start it and say ok and again in the tear down I will say log to console test case completed and say ok so I have got setup and tear down at test case level as well I will save and again go to run and start again so let us see what happens this time so our test is running goes to the browser logs in and comes out and let us wait for the logs and yes now you can see it first logged in test suite started and then it logged in test case started and then at the end it logged in test case completed and then it logged in test suite completed so this is how we can use these test setup and tear down and normally the uh, use the actual use will be for example if you want to make some particular action take place every time before starting a test suite then you can have that particular action in the setup so for example I go to my test suite and I say that I want to open some particular browser before running every test case because all the test cases uses that particular browser so what I can do is I can create a keyword so let me do a right click and I say new user keyword and I say go to home page I am giving any name here and here I can say open browser control space bar to auto complete and I will give the URL and I can also reference variables here so for example I have already created a scalar variable by the name URL which goes to this particular URL so I can say this I can use this variable here and I can say I want to use Chrome browser okay so I have created a keyword by the name go to home page where I am opening the browser and going to orange HRM website on a Chrome browser and then now I can use this go to home page as a setup on my test suite level so in the test suite I say in the setup of test suite I say call the keyword go to home page and it is available here now and I can say ok and then in the suite tear down I am saying after the test is completed I want to close the browser so I can call close all browsers so you see this close all browsers is a selenium library keyword and the earlier keyword go to home page is our custom keyword ok so now we have done this now what I am going to do is I am going to remove this open browser step from my test case so I'm just going to delete this row or I should delete the entire row delete rows and again I'm going to delete the closed browsers as well from the test case so I am going to delete this row as well so you see our test case is now only login which is again a keyword where I have I'm giving the username password and click on the login button and that's it the earlier actions and the later actions are being referenced from the suite setup and tear down let me save and let me see if it runs it correctly so I am starting it so yes it opens the browser goes to orange HRM logs in and then now it should close the browser and yes it closes the browser so you can see this is how handy it can be so we have used our suite setup and suite tear down to do all the common actions that should be done before every test case and after every test case and our test case is now very simple and very clean okay so this is how we use setup and tear down in robot framework i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching